vertex. There's a formula for it. So the h value you find, or that would be the x of the vertex, right, is negative b over 2a. That will help me find the x value of my vertex. So if it is in general form, I can, there's two things I can do. I can actually complete the square and put it in vertex form, which we're going to do in just a minute. Or I can plug my, my a and b into this formula. It's going to give me the x value. But to get the k value, or the y value of my vertex, I then have to plug whatever I got from here into the, the original function. So that's what this means. And I'll show you. We'll do it here in just a minute. So after you solve with the h, you have to plug it into k. You plug, you plug it into, yeah, you plug so it in back like, into the function. So kind of like Bob. You, yeah. You forgot the negative 1b. No, she put it I, I went back and put it once I realized I all right, I think that that step at the bottom is about graphing. We're going to graph one. We're, we're going to graph a couple here in just a minute. Uh, you already know all that stuff. That's transformation information, just in case you need it. But you already know it, so, so here we go. Um, discriminant. We've already done that. The b squared minus 4ac, please remember, um, these are the things that it tells us about them. This is going to come into play a lot in the next couple of units. It's here so that you can find it easily. We'll, we will um, come back to it um, in the next day or two. And on your assignment, I think there's a couple that ask or that mention the discriminant. So you just plug in and then just tell it's easy. You just look at that and go, oh yeah, okay. All right, so let's graph these. Before we graph these three though, I want to graph the parent function. Um, the quadratic parent function, I'm going to do it in red so that it shows up pretty good. So if you remember, the parent function sits at 0, 0. And then it has a dot at positive 1, 1 and negative 1, 1. Those are the first two dots on the parent function. And then the next set of dots is over 2 up 4. So that's y equals x squared. That's the parent function of the quadratic family. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and put that on there is so that we can look at our transformations and make sure they look like what we think they should look like when we graph them. Okay, so the first one, f of x equals 2x squared. How has it been transformed? Vertical um, stretch. Yes, a vertical stretch. So if I take that parabola right there, and I stretch it up, what's it going to appear like? It's going to get skinnier because it's been stretched taller. So when we graph it, it's a vertical stretch. Does that change your x values at all? No. No. So the x values of the five dots that I just drew don't change. But the y values get twice as tall. You just multiply them by two. So my first dot Still at x is 0, y is at 0 times 2, which is still 0. So it's still at the origin. Now, my second set of dots, it was at 1, 1. Now it's going to be at 1, 2, because I multiply the y value times 2. And it will be at negative 1, 2. The second set of dots were at 2, 4. Now they'll be at 2, 8, which... I don't have enough dots on here, but we'll just imagine that I do. So it is, in fact, skinnier. Y equals 2x squared. Y equals negative 2x squared. It's going to look just like that one, but upside down. Are we doing it on the same graph? Yeah. So I'm going to go still 0, 0 over 1 down 2, and then over 2 down 8.
So far, are y'all okay with the graphing? Yes. All right, so the next one, this time they have, they have shifted, and I can get my, uh, my vertex from here, because this is in vertex form. So the vertex is going to be, remember, x is a liar, so it's not at 3, it's at negative 3. But y doesn't lie, so it's at negative 3, 5. That's where my, dot, my first dot's going to be. All right, now from there. Wait, why is it at negative 3, 5? Because why is it 5? That's, for the, that's my vertex. And then x is a liar. Because x is a liar. So now... This thing has been transformed by flipping it over and multiplying all of the y values by 2. So it's been vertically stretched. So now pretend that that dot that I just put is 0, 0, and I would go over 1, down 2 from there. Does that make sense? Everybody okay? Because it's wow. negative. So from here, I'd go over 1, down 2 for my first two dots. For my second set of dots, I'd go over 2, down 8. Why is it moved over again? Why is it moved over? Yeah. Because of this. And then how do you know what? Oh, that's the vertex. I'm sorry. And then you go down 1 over 2? Down 2 over 1. Right. And then down over to down eight. Right. Are y'all good? So far? Mm-hmm. Alright, so on number two, we can't graph it yet because we don't realize